friends, welcome back to our lesson on our first tool of the actor, tool of an actor, our bodies. All right, remember, this is Quinn and Street Project. Um, and we use, we teach drama. Drama is storytelling using the tools of an actor. We got three of them. The first one is body. The second one is our voice. And the third one is our imagination. All right. So this whole lesson thing is just focusing on our bodies. Everything's connected, but on our bodies, all right, and our movement, okay? So if this is lesson, or this is lesson four, so if you haven't done the other three lessons, I would go back and do those because we're kind of building them, we're building them up together. So definitely go back and do those. Also, if you missed the animal where we got to run around and be squirrels, like, go do, I mean, go do that. You got to do it. Okay, here we go. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Wonderful. The first thing you need to do is you need to set up your movement space. Okay, so either you're sitting or you're standing doesn't matter. Just make sure you if you're sitting, you can move just like uh, Miss Anna and Mr. Brian are showing us. You can move your arms around. You can move your upper body. You can move whatever limbs you got. Yeah, very nice. A leg kick, a sensible leg. All right. Um, and if you're standing, make sure you have some space to move around. All right, so let's get warmed up. Everybody reach up to the sky, stretch, 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 stretch. Get as tall as you can and then drop just your fingers but leave everything else up. Yes, drop just your hands but leave everything else up. Boop, drop one elbow, boop, drop the other elbow. Wear your shoulders as earrings. Ooh, look at my earrings. All right, and squeeze everything, breathe in and drop a breathe out. <sighs> Very nice, drop your head bonk and roll all the way down roll all the way down very nice and roll back up we're gonna roll back up awesome take your right arm grab your uh right wrist left hand over to the left very nice open up your side body that's what we call the side body very clever, very clever term. All right, and switch. Grab your left wrist with your right hand and go over to the other side. Very nice, very nice. Opening up our left side body. We call it that because it's on the left side. Very good, very good. Deep breath in. You're gonna take the biggest, most dramatic fake yawn you've ever taken in your life. Ready, go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool, all right, friends, I'm feeling good. So today we are going to focus on a new movement technique called viewpoints. Ooh, ooh, view, view, point, point. That's it, lesson over. Just kidding, of course I'm kidding. All right, viewpoints is a method that also came from the dance world. Are we noticing a theme here? Theme alert, theme alert, all right? A lot of these movement techniques come from the dance world, which makes sense, right? Why would that make sense, Miss Anna and Mr. Brian? Is it because in dance you're using your body? What? Yes, that's why, yeah? So it all connects, yeah? Dance is just a, a storytelling movement, right? Dance is like what you would do if you took away the voice, you're using your imagination, yeah? Then you would just be dancing. All right, cool, cool, cool. And they create characters too, all the time. All right, Viewpoints was created. You know I have to have a fun historical picture. <clears throat> now, Viewpoints isn't as old as the other um, methods. So it's not quite as historical, but it is in black and white. So here we go. This woman is Mary Overly. Ooh, yay. Mary Overly was a dancer and a choreographer. And she started, she was, as she was creating her movement, she was trying to think about how to teach, you know, how to tell other people how to move their bodies and how to create pictures on stage and how to create shapes and all of these things. And so she came up with the six viewpoints, all right? The six viewpoints. Um, the viewpoints, if you think, I am standing here in a space, all right? I'm gonna take away Mary Overly. All right, I am standing here in a space. Your viewpoints are all of the ways in which you can interact with that space, okay? With your body, with your imagination, with the space around you, everything, all right? And then we say six. Actually later, Mary Overly, with permission, two other women, Anne Bogart and Tina Landau, who we'll talk about next week, 
all right? They came in and they added three more, all right? So there are actually nine, but we're gonna start with the original six because they also spell a fun word. The way we remember our six viewpoints is stems with two S's at the beginning, <laughs> all right? Stems. It's like if a snake saw a flower and said, ooh, look at all those stems. Very good, very nice. All right, so friends, today we are going to focus on the first three stems, the first three viewpoints, all right? So the first one is space, yeah? Space, blocking where we go on stage, placement of furniture, where the walls are, all that stuff. To start to explore space, we're going to start thinking about something called negative space, all right? Negative space. Negative space doesn't mean bad space. It means space where there's nothing there but air, yeah? So if we look at this, let's take this corner, for example, right? This is the corner of my room, okay? Welcome. <clears throat> All of this right here, these are walls, yeah? These are walls. They're there, I cannot move them. This little, oh, you can't really see this. I have this thing here, I cannot move it, yeah? My little altar here, all right? And I have some other stuff that I can't move, yeah? I cannot move them, okay? But everything that I'm standing in right now, okay, is negative space. But if I stand in it, is there nothing there anymore? No, I'm here, right? So this is now positive space because I'm in it, yeah? But what did that become? Mr. Brian, what did that over there become? There's the button to unmute, negative space. It's negative space, yeah. So friends, I want you to start to think about when you see an opening, that's your negative space. But once you take that space, it's not negative space anymore. And wherever you left is negative space, yeah? This wall, positive space. This over there, negative space. Until, is it negative space anymore? No! All right, so if you're standing, stand. If you're sitting, sit. I want you to take your arms and you're gonna take them on a journey, okay? You're gonna draw big circles around yourself, big circles around yourself. And whenever you have negative space around your head, I want you to make a very silly noise. Here we go, ready? So there's not negative space. We're taking it off. Draw big circles, draw big circles. Very good. All right, now, every time you have negative space, um, now I want you to take a Let's move our arms in a different shape. Miss Anna, give me a shape. Uh, a pentagon. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we're gonna draw, we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna draw a pentagon. A pentagon has five points, all right? Like a star. Okay, so we're gonna draw a pentagon with our hands. Every single time that your fingers come to a point together or come to, wait, here we go. Every single... <laughs> Every single time, we're going to draw a pentagon around our bodies. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Every time that you feel like there is negative space around your middle section, I want you to say, middle, middle. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so starting here, let's start down here, actually. Let's start down here. This will be fun. All right. Here we go. Ready? So here we go. Two, two. Middle, 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 ah, middle, 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 Take your, let's do one more thing. Take your arm out. I want you to move around for five seconds and try to fill all of the negative space around you. Now, I'll give you a hint. You won't be able to because once you fill one negative space, then there's all this negative space over here. If you lift your leg up and you find negative space over there, then there's negative space down here, okay? So I want you to take five seconds. Try to fill as much negative space around you as you can. Ready? Here we go, go, five. 
Ooh, oh, but now there's down here. Four. Oh, but now it's down here. Ah, three. Ah, ooh. Ah, ah, but two. Ah, 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 ah. And one. That was exhausting. Friends, the moral of the story is you cannot possibly fill all of the negative space. All right? But we can try. And that's one of the ways that we can try to move around. That's one of the ways that we talk about blocking, all right? So blocking is what we do on stage. Yeah, we talk, we've talked a lot about creating characters with our bodies. Let's talk about blocking, all right? Blocking is literally, if I say, okay, I'm a character, character A, and I'm gonna cross over there to character B. That's blocking, all right? So when we're thinking about where we should move on stage, we wanna think about where there's negative space, yeah? If I set my whole show on stage left and there's all this negative space on stage right, why, yeah? If that's your choice, great, but make it a very intentional one, yeah? Make there a reason why there's no, nothing going on over there. There's all that negative space. All right, cool, let's stop there before Miss Madison gets too high concept, okay? <laughs> Do high concept alert, high concept alert. All right, the second s viewpoint. All right, remember we have space, so we need another s, s is shape, okay? Shape, shape can contain geometry, costumes, gestures, and the shape of the actor's bodies, all of the objects, yeah? So let's play with shape a little bit. Let's, let's build, all right? So we have negative space. I'm gonna cross into it. Then we're gonna look at the shape of the things around me and me, okay? So if I wanna say I'm a really powerful character, okay? I'm gonna take up this negative space and then I'm going to become a shape that makes me feel really powerful. Everybody show me a shape that makes you feel really powerful. So cross into your negative space and show me a really powerful shape. Nice. So without saying a single word, yeah, you as the audience know that I am a very high status character. I'm very important because I walked in, I filled negative space and I posed. Yes, and it was very powerful. All right, cool. Now I want you to try, your turn. I want you to try to show me without saying a word, this is your first entrance, show me without saying a word that you are a weak character that you're not, you're, you're, you might be important to the story, but you're not high status. Yeah, people don't, you know, people don't respect you. Okay, show me that. I respect you, but people don't respect you. Okay, here we go. Oh, very good, Miss Anna. Very good, Mr. Brian. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Good job. Friends, did you see how they used the shape of their bodies and the shape of their spaces? You see, Miss Anna went all the way back especially on Zoom. Now, ooh, let's not get into it. Okay. <laughs> Miss Anna went all the way back, all the way back to her couch. That made her feel like, Mr. Brian made a different choice. He got really close to the camera, but he went down like this, yeah? So that's the shape, all of those things. Good job. This is some advanced stuff, all right? Stay with me. <gasps> Stems. The third thing and the last thing that we're going to talk about today, because it's a lot of information, so I want to break it up is time, all right? Time, duration, rhythm. Remember in, um, who was that guy? Laban. Laban. Thank you, good job, good job. <laughs> Remember, yeah, who else talked about time? That's right, it was Laban, okay? Tempo, yeah, the timing. We did fast movement, we did slow movement. We played with all those things in between. Time is also a viewpoint because it affects the way that the audience sees things and it affects the way that it makes, how it makes us feel, okay? So we're gonna take that same thing. I want you to be a really powerful character. I want you to play with your negative space. I want you to play with the shape of your body and the things around you. And I want you to add playing with timing, okay? So let's be really powerful this time, really important. All right, let's all try it. Ready, here we go. Good job, nice. Did you notice that we all went really slow? Because powerful people, they have all the time in the world. All right, now let's play with being really, really not powerful. Yeah, 
Very weak, very small. Here we go, ready? Go. Good job, friends. Miss Anna, Mr. Brian, did we say a single word? Yeah, but what do we already know about these characters? What do we already know? Mr. Brian? They're small. They're small, yeah. And what does that say about a character? They're small. What, what, could, we, what could we make up, yeah? If that was the end of the play, what could we make it? That would be crazy. But if that was the end of the play, that was all we saw was those two characters, powerful, one powerful, one weak. What could we make up? I think that we could probably imagine that there's a conflict between them. Conflict, yes. Friends, remember from text to performance, which is kind of a prerequisite for this. <laughs> Not really, but here we go. All right, friends, remember for all the way back, if you ever did a uh, text or performance with Mr. Brian and I, or Miss Melissa and Mr. Justin, or anybody else, yeah? We know that conflict is when one character wants something and another character wants something and they can't both win. Yeah, and that's conflict, that's the problem. So wait, you're saying that before anybody says a single word, we could already have a conflict? I think so. What? Oh my goodness. I'm realizing more and more how important our bodies are to our acting. Yeah? Are you guys? I am. Yeah. All right, cool friends. So those are, that was a lot of information that Miss Madison just hurled at you. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna pause here and next week we're gonna talk about <clears throat> M's stem. <laughs> we did the then we're going to do M's. Next week, we're going to talk about emotion, movement, and story. All right. And we'll get even more into that stuff next week. The things we want to remember from today are that our space, negative, positive. Yes. Shape. Everybody show me, everybody show me um, a shape of, actually, no, we're going to combine them. A shape, shape, shape of our bodies, shape of the space around us. And Time, yes, the time. I want everybody, we're gonna do one more character entrance, all right, using your negative space, you're using your space, using your shape, using your time. I want you to show me a character who has a really big secret. You have a really big secret, okay? I don't wanna know what it is, but I wanna know that you have one. Ready, here we go. I'm not just gonna watch you guys, all right, ready and go. Oh my goodness, friends at home, don't you want to know what those secrets are? I sure do. All right, good job, friends. That was so good. Let's check out. Everybody take a big deep breath in, big deep breath out. Awesome. I want you to show me the shape of how you are feeling right now at the end of this little drama lesson. The shape of how you are feeling right now. Very good, very fun. All right, deep breath in, shake it out. All right, hands in the middle. And on the count of three, we're gonna say drama class. Ready, one, two, three, drama class. Drama class. Amazing, Woo. see you next week, friends.